Hi guys, how's everybody going? Oh my god. So we're in Boyle's Caravan and Camping Park in Port New in Donegal. It lashed from four o'clock yesterday, more or less for the whole day. Uh, but we got a lot of video editing done. <laughs> and we got a lot of snoozing done and we watched a lot of television and we had a lot of junk. We are now at 20 minutes to 10 in the morning and we are heading for our last stop on this trip, which is to Carrokeel in, or is it Carrokee? I think it's Carrokeel in Castle Bar. I'll just check the actual. And it's two hours, oh gosh, it's over two hours from here. Um, do, 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 do. Yes, Carrokeel Caravan and Camping Park in Castle Bar and Mayo. And it's two hours, 27 minutes from here. In this weather, you may say that it's going to be three hours and we'd probably get lost. So if you want to skip the road footage as usual, just go to here and you'll get us coming in the entrance of the caravan and camping park in Castle Bar in County Mayo. And then the next day we have a three and a half hour drive. Talk to you in a bit. So we made it to Carrow Keel Caravan and Camping Park in Castle Bar. It's warm. I've got the fan going and Charlie's down there drinking some water. The weather has cleared up beautifully. So while it's here, first things before we do any of the introductions to the park, let's get the drone up. I have got permission to fly the drone and we're going to take it up and just give you a look at the size of this caravan park. made it to Carrow Keel Caravan and Camping Park, Castle Bar in County Mayo. I might have said Ross Common earlier on, I think I did. Uh, reception is just there behind me. That's a games room which is closed because of COVID. Uh, plenty of bins, as you can see, there's bins there. There are bins here beside me as well. There is, when COVID is not here, a bar and restaurant on site. At the moment, it's just a takeaway. Between five and seven in the evening, no, sorry, seven to nine in the evening. There's a takeaway window for uh, fast food. Uh, 50 pitches in total between hard stands for caravans and motorhomes and about 15 pitches 
for tents. He will also do winter storage for you. He has a, I think it's an outdoor pit part where you can leave your caravans or your motorhomes for winter storage. Um, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what's uh, happening around here. So you make your way in through reception. Um, there's water points everywhere. There's electricity on all of the pitches. Um, as I said, that's a toilet block over there. There's a chap actually vaxing the floors, Hoover washing the floors. Hard stands, there's a couple of new hard stands here, which are pretty big and pretty level with electricity and water. Where I am, they're old stands. You can see they're new ones. They're not the biggest, but I fit and they're pretty level and there is power um, and water where we are. So we'll, um, you would have seen from the drone footage anyway, that uh, it's a pretty big site. It's uh, set over some nice, nice green areas. And uh, yeah, power to beat the band and taps. Practically wherever there's power, there's a tap. There's power, yeah, and street lighting. Interesting to see how well, well let it will be. But everything is based around that toilet block over there, as you would have seen from uh, the footage. And there's a swing and plain, uh, play area there for the kids. There's a river that flows uh, just to the side of the park here. Um, it's, it's a beautiful park. There's plenty of green areas, uh, plenty of tents, good mix of caravans and motorhomes. So yeah, we'd uh, be recommending this place all right. Carrowkeel Caravan and Camping Park in Castlebar, County Mayo. When you sign in, you get one of these COVID related items because it's August when we're recording this. We signed in all the COVID details. He took our names, address, phone number, reg plate, the usual stuff. We signed that we haven't been around COVID or near anybody with COVID, which we've done on practically all of the campsites whilst on holidays. You then get one of these. Now let's play a little game. If I was to say to you that it's three euro for electric, the showers are free. How much do you think a unit two adults and a dog would be per night. Remember the last campsite we've stayed in for a unit, two adults, free showers, five euro for electric, set us back 35 euro. Am I paying 35 euro tonight? No. Am I paying 28 euro? No. Three euro for electric, free showers. Am I paying 25 euro? Surely I'm paying, tw no. I'm not paying 25 euro. I'm paying 20 euro and 50 cent for a unit, two adults, one dog, an electric hookup. Showers are free. The toilet block, it's clean. It's been very clean, kept clean for the COVID. There's new shower curtains. We're just going in. The chap was telling me while they wash one set, they um, hang another set. I went for a shower. It's free. You push the button, you get a good seven minutes before that button pops out. Uh, mine might have been stuck. So let's see, look, there's plenty of hot water. Uh, it was two o'clock in the afternoon when I had my shower and there was plenty of pipe and hot water. Um, word of warning, like some shower cubicles, hang your towel, hang everything up on the door. There is a seat that you can pull down, maybe put your shoes up on that, but everything got splashed. But with the shower curtains pulled over, you should be pretty much okay. Did I tell you I only paid 20 euro and 50 cent? <laughs> 35 euro last time, 20 euro and 50 cent. There's nothing around here. There's nothing to do on site. Kids are playing football here. There's a swing and a slide over by the river. River. There's a tire on a bit of rope where you saw the new hard stands, a bit of green area there. The pitches past me are well shaded. They're hard stands, well shaded. Just bear that in mind if you have solar, but it won't matter if you're plugging in. There's plenty of pitches. The old pitches, they're level, but they're, they're tight, they're small. Um, some people have reversed in, some people are parking long ways on them. There's caravans here. I was chatting to a couple from Loud who have just uh, gonna start, hi guys, just gonna start watching our videos. Their children were very inquisitive about YouTube and seemingly they love YouTube and now they're gonna start watching them. They have stayed in a, a few of the sites that we've reviewed over the years already. Uh, just wanna say hi to them. So yeah. Uh, all in all, it's it's a nice site. If you want to get away and just relax and your kids are happy enough kicking ball or cycling or just 
hanging around, this is the place for you. When COVID is over, there's a bar and restaurant for the moment. It's just a takeaway. There's also a games room, which is closed at the moment. But the facility, did I mention that it was only 20 euro and 50 cent? I think I did. If I didn't, it was only 20 euro and 50 cent. That deserves a graphic here. I can't believe it when he said 20 euro and 50 cent. The chap is from the Netherlands that owns and runs the place. And I'm gonna assume it's a brother or a son that's cleaning because he's also from the Netherlands. Guys, thank you for watching the videos. Please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. As I always say, you don't have to, but seemingly it helps things with us when people subscribe and click that like button. Uh, click on the bell and every time we upload a video, you'll get notified of said video. Uh, if you want some of our merchandise, our mugs, our key rings, our water bottles, our t-shirts, our baseball caps, just log on to Charlie and Me. Dot ie that will take you to our lovely merch store where you can buy and spend to your heart's content and thank you for your support there if you want some of our free car stickers just email us your name address and your contact details including your postcode to charlie at aaronburchill.com as per usual i like to give the kid a look in so hang on a second there's where the star of the show is and has been for the last half hour. We've uh, got the telly on while we're doing a little bit of video editing, but uh, he's sprawled out. It is still pretty warm. We're after having a couple of showers, but it is pretty warm at the moment. So thanks for watching. Thanks for <laughs> subscribing. <laughs> it doesn't take him long to get comfortable, does it? Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon on Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. Take care. Bye-bye.